Hello and welcome back to Writerly Witterings with me, the tea drinking author. There's a hedgehog there, that's nice. And it's a strange day today because today while I record we're packing everything up for the daughter director and she's moving to her first flat. She's finished at university for now and she's going to be living in a nice flat in a nice area. Dog, go away. So by the time you see this, daughter director, happy new home. Right, now today, Browns. I've done reviews of Browns before. Here is my little inky Bible. Diamine ochre, we've got diamine sepia, raw sienna and various others. But earlier this year, I bought this, some KWZ honey, which is lovely. Very lovely indeed. The only colour that might be slightly better to my taste is KWZ's Meet Me in St. Louis, which is a gorgeous colour. But I haven't got that because that was a one-off. And although I understand they will be making it again for a wider market, they haven't got it now. So I thought a quick review of KWZ honey compared with my absolute favourite brown currently, which is Diamine Sepia. And then just from the point of view of comparison, some golden brown and a very underrated brown, the dark brown. Because of what's happening today, packing up the house and getting rid of my daughter's stuff, this is going to be a briefer video. Apologies for that, but even so, it's going to be good. So, if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, all of those good things. Right, I've got that out of the way, let's get into the ink. Cheers. Okay, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to look through various different papers today because it's worthwhile, I think, testing all different types. So, at the bottom we have some Oxford. Then we've got some Nemo Sign, which is jolly good paper. We have Tomo River. We have Professional Moleskin. We have Standard Moleskin. And some really cheap WH Smith's paper. So all that means we've got a fair spread of different types of paper for the inks. And having said that, let's get on with it. So... Which shall we have first? I quite fancy the idea of some dark brown first. Because it's an underrated colour, it's not bad. Now, for those of you who don't know how I do these re video reviews and tests, I use this Twisby Go, which is a delightful little pen. I have two buckets of water beside me. And these two buckets of water are used to flush the pen through to make sure it's absolutely clean. I have one which is used to wash through and get rid of old inks. And the second one is clear water which I allow the pen to suck ink from. And which never has any ink go near it. So that's just for really clean flushing. And that way, there's no cross-contamination of inks in the pen. And what you see as I write is what you're going to get. First of all, I'm just going to write a short section in this moleskin. Very old moleskin, but a typical moleskin, which shows how well the paper works. Because I'm often asked, what is moleskin paper like? Well, this is moleskin. And how does that look? That looks nice on paper. But as you come over, you can see that it's got quite a lot of shadowing and the paper is breaking through in various places. Then when you get close up to it, uh, there's surprising lack actually on this of too bad feathering. Oh, I speak as it materialises. Feathering there, 
pretty dreadful and feathering all down here as the ink soaks in it really gets dreadful as you can see here with this which I think is Noodler's Base State Blue which is pretty much like um, a bullet yeah you can see it's coming through even worse there so that my friends is why I don't use moleskin notebooks with fountain pens now having demonstrated that I am going to start writing so how did the review go well here we have a cheap WH Smith's type of notebook with the deep dark brown, golden brown, sepia, KWZ honey. Now, if we just go over, there is no shadowing, no bleed through, there is no feathering. Each of those inks looks really quite good. The creamy paper does bring out the golden brown and the honey, and the strange thing is, they actually look remarkably similar, don't they? very very similar indeed exactly the same kind kind of tone if there was a real difference i'd say the honey is just slightly more yellow dark brown is a reddish brown which i think's very underrated it's an understated sort of color but it works really well it's got fantastic shading this is one of my favorite inks of all good shading really lovely color and I think is just one of the ideal inks for using all day every day. Looking at it on Tomo River, there is, as you expect, with some 52 GSM paper, a bit of show through, but very little really. And it brings up the sort of purplish reddish colour of dark brown. Diamine's golden brown again shows up very similar to KWZ Honey. Honey pops off the page a little bit more to my eye, purely because it is that little bit more yellow. Sepia is much, much more restrained. It's um, quite a subtle colour, really, but it has got lovely outlining. And you can see the quality of the shading in that writing. It really does work very well. Shading on the honey is good too. But it seems a little more um, progressive in terms of shading. Whereas with the diamine inks, you can see that suddenly you get a go from very pale to a block of really quite intense colour. Shows up even better on the golden brown, really. The top of the G there is quite pastel, then suddenly it kicks in big time. That L in golden kicks in the R suddenly kicks in. So less progressive with diamine, much more of a burst of colour. On the more expensive papers, here's the Nemo sign. No show through, no bleed through, no feathering, nothing at all. This paper is superb. This tends to bring down the yellowness of the KWZ. So the KWZ and the golden brown Looking at them right now, it's really quite strange because I'd say the golden brown actually looks more yellow than the honey does. The honey has more of a slight greenish tinge. Both of them really very, very attractive. On the professional mole skin, no bleed through or shadowing, nothing at all there shows the colour of the KWZ and the Diamine again as very similar but I would say the KWZ again comes out slightly more greenish on this cream paper. Obviously the colour of the background paper will have an impact on the way that the colours show up. Moleskin Professional Paper Diamond Golden. Again, really good shading. The sepia shows far less shading on this paper.
paper, which I'm surprised at because most of the time sepia, I like it because it shows such good shading always. Really good shading on the KWZ. And then let's go with the Oxford paper. And on this, it shows up differently again. So we've definitely got a nice reddish tinge to the dark brown diamine. Golden brown is really quite a nice pastel colour with stunning shading. Sepia, really good shading. It shows up on almost every character. And then KWZ, even better shading. But it comes across as the same colour as the golden brown, but just much darker. Which I find fascinating. So if we ignore the yellow of the Moleskin Professional and look at just white papers, this is Tomo River, and it definitely shows the KWZ as quite a bit darker. This is the Nemo sign and shows the KWZ as significantly darker. And here on Oxford, a bit darker, yes. I'm just going to move this out of the way from underneath. As here on the cheaper paper, yes, it's a bit darker, but it's really, there's very, very little in it. They're both remarkably similar. Just going back to my original ink tests, let's have a look here. No, I don't know, I don't know. And we've got Diamine Sepia here. As you can see on this 68 GSM paper from Tomo River, it's a slightly cream background, not very strong, but it shows the sepia as being quite a lot sort of darker. Now th these are a different batch. I bought this more recently than when I did the original tests in here, but um, I'm surprised at how that colour comes out. Here we have the golden brown, which again would I would say looks darker here than on the Tomo River. Nemesine it looks darker too, and the Oxford. Bearing in mind this was written using exactly the same pen. That's interesting. Dark brown works well with the Tomo River. I think I prefer the dark brown not on Nemo sign. The Nemo sign makes it look a little bit insipid. Oxford's better and Tomo River, as so often, is the best. So those are four of my favourite browns. I'll be interested in your views. I do love the KWZ. It's just a lovely writing experience with that smell and everything else. But it hasn't toppled sepia from being my favourite. I still really like sepia. So there you have it. My four favourite browns. No doubt you'll tell me I'm completely wrong and there are infinitely better colours and infinitely better browns. That's entirely up to you to write to me and let me know and just show what a fool I am but I'm used to it I can cope I would say my two favorites out of all of these sepia is certainly still I think my favorite brown KWZ honey comes pretty damn close but KWZ Honey and Golden Brown. I would find it very hard to pick between them, to be honest. I will be filling my pens with KWZ Honey more often in the near future than with Golden Brown. And the reason is the difference in quantity. That's all of the Golden Brown I've got. That'll last a while. But generally, I think it's still the sepia that I bought earlier this year that is winning. I just love that ink. Hope that was interesting. Thanks a lot. You've already hit the like and everything else, haven't you? So that's all good. If you're interested in joining a pen pals club, 
which means you can write to people all over the world and use your pens and inks. Go down to the bottom, you can write to me, I will send you a link and then you can, if you wish to, join the club. And apart from that, wish me luck, the rest of the day is going to be spent packing and filling a trailer ready for my daughter to leave home. Strange times. Thanks all for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you soon when I've got a fresh cup of tea. Cheers. <laughs>